Exactly. 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 Is, did I say that correct? Kumara. Kumara, yeah. Kumara, okay. We, we found that there's um, Kumara in uh, Asia, so you're right. You know, at one point we were together. It was one. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And I think that's important to realize that because there is so many aspects of how and what we do. Like I said, you start looking at these societies, how these societies actually function. And you say, okay, well, yes, there are, are different. Obviously, you can see that there's different aspects and different um, uh, different lineages that that was awakened in it. That's a given, right? Because with any any region, if you go to Papua New Guinea, you'll find more than one uh, tradition, even though they're on the same island, right? And there's multiple islands, but. And then, same thing with you go to the Philippines. There's 8,000 islands. So guess what? You're going to have things that are going to be, you're going to have indigenous people from, well, so where my, grandma, my, my grandfather was from in Luzon, in, uh, like 100 miles away from Manila, in um, uh, Manang Panga. Right? So there are traditions that they do that is very close. These are dark-skinned people in, in, the, in the Philippines, mind you, right? The indigenous people of the Philippines. You look at that and you start, wait a minute. Again, the way that they approach and deal with uh, nature, for lack of a better term, right? The environment. And it's how they buried their elders in trees. You start to look back at, at those, those again, those, in, those uh, twa, the little people. You start to say, oh, wait a minute. They, they did the same exact thing. They had the same understanding. They dealt with these things. There's no place, like I say this over and over again, there's no place on this earth that does not talk about the Bayaka or the Twa or, the, you know, the little people. You can go to Ireland and see the same thing because it was very dark skinned people in, in, on Ireland, in Ireland that lived in the caves there. But you can go to um, King Kamehameha in Hawaii, right? You can go to, you can go, over, I don't care where you go in the world, you'll see the same aspects of things. But what separated these things and, and made us to feel that we were different people, well, A, we traveled, we experienced different things, right? The little people as in spirits are different though. Uh, they aren't dead people. Uh, they're not, no, no, we're not talking about that. You know, talking about specifically the twa. That's something different that you're talking about. The Emery or the, you know, some people call them fairies. Some people go, wait, no, we're not talking about them. <laughs> uh, I'm back on the, my path and I need more info on how to work better with my Ori by being consistent. Yeah. So I would always say um, the first path to having a deep understanding to your Ori, when you're seeking that to have a better understanding of your Ori is to go to a Babalawo and to get a Ifa Abiba reading because then you can open up that doorway to get clarity. I fed my Ori yesterday. Y'all know I say <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> he said, I fed my Ori and look outside. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> it's the monsoon. That was funny. That owe me tutu. Um <laughs> Igbe. Uh. Wow, there was Igbe. Igbe. Igbe is uh, uh, the snail. So in, in uh, Nigeria, Igbe are these humongous snails. These snails are humongous. It's like the brown snails that you find in uh, the place, especially definitely in the States. But Igbe, these things are, the shell is this big, right? And then the, the, the snail itself is really humongous. Yeah. Go ahead. Unique, you had a question? No. I'd see your mic off. I mean, on. That's why I was asking. Uh, 
ఆయన్ని 